Welcome back to the channel and today I'm making another Rococo motion capture video and I'm going to be in a little bit just showing you a quick part of how I captured it um, but I definitely have a more in-depth video on my channel which I'll link in the description if you want to know the whole Rococo workflow in Blender um, but the goal here is I'm going to record some motion capture and then I'm going to share with you guys for free the blend file we have all of the robot parts and i'm going to take you through the process and the goal here is for us to kit bash a robot together so this is my result but i'm interested to see what you guys would come up um kind of parenting to this sort of um rig here so what you get is a proxy mesh and a rig and the idea here is to take these um, robot parts and then kind of parent them to this rig and just make a cool robot. And I'm hoping you guys come up with completely different results. Uh, make yours as unique as you want. So big thanks to Rococo for making this video possible. I'll put some links in the description to their stuff. Definitely check out their products. And yes, if you can't afford one of their motion capture suits, they still have a ton of interesting resources, um, some of them even free. So it's still worth checking out anyway. Um, so yeah, let's jump into this video. I'll quickly show you how I captured this guy over here. And then we'll get into the tutorial part with the free blend file that I'm providing so we can um, make a cool looking robot kit bash. So the first thing I did here was I recorded my motion using a motion capture suit. Um, I'm doing this downstairs because that's where my router is and this um, suit uses your router to connect through the Wi-Fi. So it's actually really simple in that sense. You don't need a whole bunch of extra equipment. Once again, if you want to see the full video on this, I covered it in great detail and I'll link that video in the description below. But I just did some basic robot moves here. And then I went on to using Rococo's free add-on that you can use in Blender for retargeting. It makes the whole process a breeze. Otherwise, you would have to manually um, do it each bone. This way, it just kind of allows you um, to do it automatically and it's just a few buttons you have to press and a little few tweaks you have to make most of the time but other than that it's a pretty straightforward um, process so I had it done in no time and then I started setting up the blend file so we can do this um, kind of kit bashing thing making a robot which we're going to do so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take you guys through the process of adding parts to the bone. So you can kind of get the general workflow idea. Um, I'm not gonna add every single part because I feel like once you guys kind of get the general idea, you can take these parts and add them to the rig as much as you want or as little as you want to kind of make your own robot design. So um, this is more of a process that I'm gonna show you now and I'm looking forward to what you guys can come up um, using the exact same parts that I have available here. Um, to make the same sort of robot. So go ahead in the description if you haven't already done it and download the free Gumroad um, zip file that contains this Blender file here. And in there I have a whole bunch of stuff set up here including the rig that I animated with the Rococo uh, motion capture suit. And then over here is also a proxy mesh which we can turn on and off. Um, that's been disabled for the render because we don't need to see that. And then over here we've got our stage um, which we don't have to enable but that's just the background and our lights and camera. And then we have the robot parts here, which is um, visible at the moment. And what we're gonna do, the goal here is to kind of build a robot around this um, rig over here. Now it's important that we're on frame one when we're getting started. And we're gonna come over here. You can see at the top, there are all these parts here. We're gonna start by making the bottom legs. So I'm gonna go and um, by the way, you can select whichever piece you want. Um, it can be anything. But I'm gonna select this piece over here on the left and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go into front view and go Shift D to duplicate it and bring it over here to the top of the leg. And I'm gonna go R, X and rotate it like so and then maybe rotate it around. Once again, you can place this however you want. That's the whole idea here. I'm gonna place it kind of where the um, upper part of the leg is here, like so. And I might scale it a little bit just to match the length of the bone here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab another part. So I'll grab this bit here. I'm gonna go Shift D to duplicate. Once again, you can use whatever pieces you want and we're just gonna grab something and place it here. And this is gonna be the lower leg. So in the side view, I'm gonna move it here, rotate it and let's place it over here. I think that's looking really good. Might just rotate this guy a little bit. There we go. Okay, that's looking good. And now let's grab this upper bone, holding and Shift select the rig here and then go Control tab or command tab. That takes us into pose mode. And then holding in shift, let's just select this one over here. Go control P and let's parent directly to the bone. 
And then let's go control tab to go back into object. Select the bottom bone here, holding and shift select the rig and then go control tab. Back in pose mode now, holding and shift select this bone over here. Control P and then go click on bones. Now it's a direct parent. So now these bones are each parented to the corresponding and uh, the bone that's underneath it. So now let's make the foot. And I'm going to go and select a piece here to make the foot. Um, let's see what we have here. I might grab this piece over here. And in the front view, I'm going to go Shift D to duplicate it. I'm going to bring it over and place it here where the foot slash kind of ankle is. And in the right view, I'll kind of move it up and place it right here to kind of match the foot bone here. And then holding and shift with it selected, I'm going to hold and shift and select the rig. Control tab and then holding and shift and then just left click on this bone over here and go control P and then parent it to that bone that is selected there. Let's go back into object mode and now let's get a toe bone. So I'm going to go and let's see what I can select here. Um, something that just looks interesting. I might grab this bit over here and I'm going to go shift D to duplicate that, bring it over here and then in the side view, I'm going to come here and just rotate it and then go R, Y and rotate it around on the Y and then just place it here and scale it down a bit and I'm going to make that the tip of the foot. Um, you can use whatever you want. There we go, something like that. It might not work too well because it has this cable at the bottom. So in edit mode, I'm just going to select these and just delete them just to make it a little bit more um, flat like so. There we go. And um, then I'm going to, with that selected, hold in shift, select a rig and then go control tab and then select this foot bone at the bottom here. Control P and parent directly to the bone. Like so. So back in object mode, we now have those parented. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the rig for now. And in the front view, I'm going to select all of these bone um, parts here that we've made so far. I'm going to go Shift D to duplicate, right click to let go, and then I'm going to go S, X, minus 1, and I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to go G, X, and move these over to the side a bit. And then I'm just going to rotate this guy and rotate this one. Turn back on the rig, and I'm just going to line these guys up till they kind of match up what we have here. And I might adjust this one a little bit as well. Grab this one, match it up with this bone, just like we did on the other side. And then go into your left orthographic view if you have to. And then you can always adjust it a little bit if you have to over there as well. So I'm going to do that. And the foot here seems to be okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to select this bone, holding and shift select the rig, and make sure to parent it to the bone that is with it. And I'm going to go control P, parent to that bone. Go back into object mode. I'm going to select this bottom leg, holding, then holding and shift select the rig and go control tab. Click on this bone over here and go control P, parent directly to the bone. And I'm going to do the same thing here, okay? Just the same thing. Select it, hold and shift, select the rig, select the bone that's relevant to it and go control P and parent it to the bone. And then this bit here on the end, I'm going to do the same thing, parent it to this bone, like so. And so far, we have the leg. So now let's turn off the rig. And now if we go to frame one, we hit the space bar you can see we now have these cool looking animated robot legs. Pretty cool. And that is the whole idea here. This is what we're going to do. We're going to make this really cool looking um, robot by just working um, with this, these steps. Let's go to frame one again. Okay. And what we're going to do, we're going to turn on our rig. And now let's start making the body. So let's grab this thing over here. Let's go shift D to duplicate. And let's move this and bring it in to where the chest is over here. And let's scale it a little bit. And with it active, I'm gonna go RZ 180 to rotate it around. And I'm gonna go GY and move it forward. And at this point, I'm just experimenting, I'm trying to place it in different positions. Uh, maybe I'll rotate it around. Um, it's completely up to you. Just getting a look that I think looks cool. So I might go with something like that. Just place it over here. There we go. And then with it selected, I'm going to hold and shift, select the rig, 
Go into pose mode and then select the chest bone here and go control P and just parent it directly to that bone. And now that's already looking cool, but we need to fill this with some more stuff. So let's go ahead and let's see what we can grab here. Um, okay, so I might grab this part over here that we used earlier for the lower leg. I'm gonna go shift D to duplicate it. Bring it over here, move it down. And I might just um, in the side view, rotate it like so and then rotate it around on the Z. And then I'm gonna just bring it into the chest here of the robot. Might scale it a little bit. And I might scale this guy down just a little bit, the kind of back shell that we've created here. And then kind of rotate this guy, bring it out. Something like that's looking pretty cool. And then with this selected, holding and shift, select the rig and then parent it to that chest bone as well. And then let's go back into object mode. And then we still need to continue. So let's grab another piece, go shift D. And I'm gonna put this guy, I'm gonna rotate it around and I'm gonna put this here at the bottom, like so, I'm gonna scale it down a bit and that's gonna kind of be the lower torso over here. And then holding in shift, I'm gonna select the rig and just parent it to this middle bone here directly. There we go. And I'm gonna go back into object mode. And then it's looking a little bit bare here at the front. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select maybe this part over here, shift D to duplicate, and I'm gonna place this one right at the front here. I'm gonna rotate it. I'm gonna go S to scale it a bit, bring it forward, place it over here, and then holding in shift, select a rig, and then just parent it to this bone over here. And now that's looking really cool. So already we have this. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna turn off the rig for now. And let's go into our front view and from frame zero, let's just hit the space bar. And already we can see here, we have a cool looking robot. And it's incredible how good this looks, even though we're just simply parenting parts to a motion captured rig. Okay, so from this point on, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep adding it. Okay, so I'm gonna go to frame one, turn back on the rig, and let's do the arms. Let's grab the same parts we did for the legs. I'm gonna go shift D to duplicate, rotate this one, and I'm gonna line it up here to the arm. Maybe make it a bit smaller. Move it up. Okay. Then holding in shift, select the rig, and then in pose mode, parent it to the bone here for the arm. And let's grab um, this guy over here at the bottom leg, go shift D to duplicate that, and let's see how we can position that. So I'm gonna rotate it like so, scale it down a bit, kind of get it to match where the rig placement is, and then from the top view, I'll kind of match it up as well. And then I'm just gonna parent it directly to this bone over here. Then I'm gonna go back into pose mode, turn off the rig, and from frame one, I'm just gonna hit the space bar. And I'm gonna see what that looks like. And there we go, you can see the arms animating beautifully, and it looks really convincing. Um, so yeah, that is how simple it is. So at this point, instead of going on and doing this step by step, every piece, I wanna challenge you guys to go through the whole thing and make your own robot. Because the idea here is not to get you to make 100% the same thing I'm making. I want you guys to kind of just try and use the technique and parent bits to different bones and make yourself this cool looking robot. So here's one I made. It's using all the exact same parts here in the exact same blend file. And the one I'm making now over here with you guys that I started making, it looks completely different because I'm using a different bits and that's the whole point. So I want you guys to go ahead from here and just make um, your own cool looking robot. And once you've made it, go ahead and share it on social media, um, you know, share it on Instagram. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and that you can take it somewhere. Um, and make a really cool looking um, robot animation. And once again, a big thanks to Rococo. I'll put some links in the description below 
Um, Cause on the end of the day, I did this motion capture here um, with their products, which really works well. And uh, it's a really powerful kind of um, workflow. So definitely check out their stuff. And I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial.